Hello, I'm Senator Bob Menendez. I wanted to take this opportunity to extend my warmest wishes to all of you gathered at Montclair State University on this National Constitution Day. To many, this day is also known as Citizenship Day, and I congratulate the dozens of people among you who are marking this day by becoming citizens of the United States of America. You have completed a long journey, as my own parents did, that is culminating today in a significant change in your identities. As American citizens, you're an active part of our nation that is constantly evolving and hopefully always moving closer to our constitutional ideal of becoming a more perfect union. Our nation's founders created in our U.S. Constitution in 1787 through their profound wisdom that the stability and permanence of our country would depend upon empowering its people. That is why our nation's founders included a Bill of Rights to ensure basic freedoms to all law-abiding American citizens that can never be taken away. Our nation's founders also allowed for the ability of the people to amend our Constitution. And it was through constitutional amendments that every citizen 18 years and older, regardless of race or gender, now has the right to vote and that the institution of slavery in America is no more. It is my hope that one day through a constitutional amendment that I proposed that we will ensure equal rights between men and women in our nation. This is one of the long overdue steps our nation has yet to take in becoming a more perfect union. Perhaps one of the least appreciated features of the Constitution is the power given to Congress to create federal laws according to the will of the people. It is through this constitutional power that I have worked as a member of the United States Senate's bipartisan Gang of Eight to create legislation for comprehensive immigration reform. The provisions I've contributed to this legislation will bring 11 million people out of the shadows and on a pathway to earning American citizenship. They will not be able to jump in front of those who, like the people becoming American citizens today, have been legally participating in the naturalization process. For them, the pathway to citizenship will be a long journey that will involve meeting their obligations to the federal government, learning the English language. And with the passage of comprehensive immigration reform, which the United States Senate has already passed and supported undocumented persons can be free of living in fear and work more fully towards a better future. Family members separated by national borders and thousands of miles will be able to reunite. And our own national borders will be stronger in guarding against those who would come to do harm to our nation and its people. So to my friend, Montclair State University President Susan Cole, the administration and faculty at Montclair State University, and all of you who have gathered together, especially the newest of our American citizens, I wish all of you well on this day when we celebrate our United States Constitution and our American citizenship. Thank you.